University of Wisconsin Madison Intramural Sports Captain's Video. The Competitive Sports Office is located in the back of the Natatorium, 2000 Observatory Drive, room 1025. During the academic year, the office will be open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Email us at imsports at recsports.wisc.edu. For weather questions, call the weather hotline 608-262-4756. All members wishing to participate in intramural sports must purchase the intramural sports pass. The following pass options are available. Year pass. Students can purchase a year pass at $45 at the beginning of of the fall semester through Thanksgiving. This pass gives students all access to intramural sport offerings for the fall, spring, and summer semesters. Students may participate in one single gendered and one co-rec team per sport when offered. Semester pass. Students can purchase a semester pass for $25 at the beginning of each semester. This is ideal for students that will graduate at the end of the fall semester or for students studying abroad one semester. Students may participate in one single gendered and one co-rec team per sport when offered in the semesters in which the pass is purchased. Team pass. Students can purchase a team pass at $15 for each team they would like to compete in per semester. This pass is ideal for students only interested in playing on a single team per semester. Students that purchase a team pass can upgrade to a semester or a year pass at any point. Students that wish to play on multiple teams in one sport are encouraged to purchase the semester pass. Purchasing a pass. All passes can be purchased through IM leagues. Captains are not able to create a team without purchasing their individual pass and successfully passing the captain's quiz. Participants will not be able to join a team without purchasing their individual pass. All teams will be placed on the waiting list in their respective league until the minimum number of required players to participate is met. The minimum player requirement can be found in the IM Handbook located in the Handbook section of IM Leagues. Refunds. Team pass refunds will only be given if the league does not have enough space for the team or competitive sports is unable to facilitate participation for the team. If a student is unable to participate in over half of the season of the sport in which they purchased the team pass due to injury or other extenuating circumstances, they can email the competitive sports office for a refund request. Semester and year passes will only be refunded under extenuating circumstances. The IM Council will hear all requests for refunds for the semester and year pass. Competitive. The competitive league is intended for those teams that have had some experience with organized play in that sport. This league is designed for teams whose primary objective is to win games. Recreational. The Recreational League is designed for teams whose primary objective is to enjoy intramural sports and to have fun. Winning is secondary. Open. For some sports, an open league will be the only division offered as the amount of space available and the number of teams dictate only one league offering. The Open League will have a mix of both competitive and recreational players. Participation. All participants must purchase some form of the intramural pass to participate in intramural sports. Participants may only compete in one single gender team and one co-rec team when offered. Participants are not allowed to play on two single gender teams or two co-rec teams. Captains are responsible for ensuring the accuracy of their team's roster before playoffs begin. Rosters may be viewed at any time on IM Leagues. Players may be added to the roster at any time online at IM Leagues or at the game site, provided they are eligible and meet all of the requirements. Any team that uses an ineligible player during the regular season will forfeit that game. Any team that uses an ineligible player during the playoffs will forfeit the game and be immediately dropped from further competition. Eligibility. In order to participate in intramural sports, all fee-paying students are eligible to participate. Faculty and staff must have a valid rec sports membership. All participants must activate their account on IM Leagues prior to play. Defaults. If less than the minimum number of required players of a team have checked in with the supervisor at the scheduled location within 10 minutes of the scheduled time of the contest, the supervisor will declare the contest a default. A default carries a $25 fee which can be paid online using your IM Leagues account. Teams wishing to cancel a game must have their captain or co-captain email the intramural sports staff at imsports at recsports.wist.edu by 12 p.m. the day of the contest with their name, their team name, the league of play, and their intent to cancel. Once a cancellation has been granted, the request cannot be overturned.
Cancellations made after 12 p.m. the day of the contest will result in the team captain being charged the $25 default fee. Phone cancellations and defaults are not accepted. Weather. In case of inclement weather, call the Rec Sports hotline at 262-4756, extension 4, for cancellation information. All efforts will be made to announce cancellations by 3 p.m. on weekdays. Regular season games are only rescheduled in extreme circumstances. Playoff games canceled due to inclement weather will be rescheduled and most likely pushed to the following day, subsequently pushing all other games in that bracket back a day. Please check IM Leagues for scheduled revisions. ID Policy All participants must have a valid UW ID card or Rec Sports membership card that swipes into Fusion. If a participant forgets their UW ID card, they can still gain access by using a courtesy pass, as long as they have another valid photo ID or have a picture in Fusion. Valid photo IDs include a photo in their Fusion profile, a driver's license, a passport, or any government-issued photo ID. Courtesy passes may be issued up to six times per semester for participants. This includes entries into facilities. Numbers are reset at the beginning of every semester. Playoff eligibility. Teams participating in the A or B League that have achieved a 4.0 or higher sportsmanship rating, less than two of any combination of defaults, forfeits, or cancellations, and achieve a regular season record of 500 or better will advance to playoffs. Note that any team not given the opportunity to play 50% or more of the regular scheduled games, example, games canceled due to rain, not including defaults or forfeits, will be placed into playoffs. Playoff bracketing procedures. The week following the end of regular season, a blank bracket will be posted. Teams will be ranked by their winning percentage, with the tiebreaker being accumulated sportsmanship points. Further ties will be broken randomly by the system. Starting at a time designated by the league coordinator, teams will select their position in the bracket based on seed. Note, it is better to pick your playoff path based on availability rather than competition. If a qualifying team misses their designated draft time, they can jump into the order where it stands and select at that time. If a team fails to choose their playoff spot, the league coordinator reserves the right to choose that team's spot in the playoffs. Ejections The competitive sports staff reserves the right to eject any individual team or spectator who interrupts the flow of a game in any manner. Players may be ejected before, during, and after any contest, and by any rec sports staff member. Reinstatement To regain eligibility, the ejected person must complete each of the following. Prepare a written statement detailing the events surrounding the incident. Include an outline of the events surrounding ejection, actions that led to the ejection, assurance that the behavior will not occur again, suggestion for appropriate disciplinary action, and how the behavior will be avoided in the future. The statement should be sent to the coordinator of competitive sports. And schedule an appointment to meet with a coordinator of competitive sports. Please check out the Intramural Sports Handbook for further information. Sportsmanship Rating System Competitive sports expects all participants and spectators to conduct themselves in a sportsmanlike manner. Unsportsmanlike conduct or other inappropriate behavior occurring in recreational sports indoor or outdoor facilities before, during, or after intramural events will not be tolerated. All teams will begin each game with a 4.0 sportsmanship rating. By showing good sportsmanship throughout the game, teams can earn a 5.0. If a team doesn't show any good sportsmanship, but doesn't show any bad sportsmanship either, they will remain at a 4.0 for that game. If sportsmanship problems arise during the game, teams will lose more points from their sportsmanship rating. As your team captain, you have the ability to influence the level of teamwork on your team. Teamwork is defined as the combined actions of a group of people. One example of teamwork in intramural sports is holding your teammates accountable for their actions so your team's overall sportsmanship rating is not affected by one member's poor actions. Sport Rules Players and Equipment The game shall be played by two or four players depending on which league the captain chooses. In both leagues, one player must be present to begin the 10-minute grace period. If the minimum number of players required to play is not met at that time, the game will be declared a default. The offending team will be charged a $25 d- default fee and receive a loss for that game. For 2v2, there must be two players to start a game. For 4v4, there must be three players to start the game. All games are played in an open format. This means that teams do not have any g- gender requirements. 
Game balls will be provided by the competitive sports department. If both teams agree, teams may use their own ball. The match. The match will consist of the best of two out of three games. The first two games will be played to 25. The third game, if necessary, to determine a winner, will be played to 15. Teams will switch sides to begin each set. Serving. The first serve shall be determined by the teams. The second serve will be for the opposite team. If the match goes to three games, the teams will then determine the serve again. A player will continue serving until a point or loss of rally occurs. The team immediately receiving the ball for service shall immediately switch servers, exception, for the first serve for each team. Net serve. If a serve ball hits the net and goes over, it is still legal and failure to return the serve will result in a point for the serving team. Playing or blocking the ball. A player may leave the court to play the ball. A ball hitting a sideline or end line is considered in. The ball may be touched only three times by one team before being returned over the net. Players may play the ball with their feet. Playing the ball with the feet will count as a touch. Walking the ball entirely over the net does not count as a touch. However, if the ball then goes out of bounds, the person who blocked it shall be considered to have caused the ball to go out of bounds. Violations. The following will result in a point loss of rally depending on who made the service. Catching or holding the ball, touching the net with any part of the body while the ball is in play, exception, hair will not count as part of the body, serving out of turn, illegal serve, illegal volley. This concludes the intramural sand volleyball captain's meeting. The captain's quiz found on IM leagues must be completed with a score of 80% or higher before a team can be created. Feel free to contact us at imsports at recsports.wisc.edu with your questions or feedback. Thank you and good luck this year.